Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? I am Frank and welcome to my YouTube page. Today I am wearing red for a reason because today I'm going to give you another cartoon review. And today's cartoon is Carmen San Diego. But first, my theme music. Hey, before we get underway and tell you what I think about Carmen San Diego, I want you to subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and then click on the notification bell. You'll be notified when I post a brand new video. And now that we've got that out of the way, let's continue with my cartoon review. Carmen San Diego is a series of American educational mystery video games which spawned an entertainment franchise of the same name. The game was released in 1985. It was called Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? There's also a cartoon in the 90s as well. But today we're here to talk about the Netflix series Carmen San Diego. Here's the synopsis of the show. Carmen San Diego is a teenage girl without a past. Abandoned on a remote island, all that she knows is that she was born in Argentina and she was left with a pair of Russian nesting dolls. The island she lives on is known as the Isle of Vile. V-I-L-E, a secret group of super thieves who steal the best of the best. When Carmen discovers Vile's true intentions, she turns into a Robin Hood-esque figure who only steals from the nefarious organization. In this series, Carmen has a series of traveling sidekicks with a Boston accent, Zack and Ivy, as well as a young hacker named Player. But she knew him first a long time ago when she was growing up on the island. She kind of found this phone and that's how she found him. Now obviously this is a lot different from the original show show, so let me give you my opinion of Carmen Sandiego on Netflix. The good and the bad. Some of the good parts are, I really like the animation style. It's obviously more updated than it was back in the 80s and 90s. This show is kind of like an education with a good story to tell. It teaches kids and it teaches you about geographical locations and you follow her through her entire storyline. Now, some of the bad things. The first episode, when I first started watching it, was a little slow, and I was a little bored. By the second episode, I got more into it. And then by the third, I was even more into it. I was really getting into this until it was over. And what I mean by that, it's only like nine or ten episodes long. Netflix did this before with The Dragon Prince. The Dragon Prince was only nine episodes long. And just when I'm getting into the storyline of this Carmen San Diego series on Netflix, <gasps> it's over. It's only... A short series. Now, I understand there will be a season two. After all, it did leave season one with a cliffhanger. So hopefully I won't have to wait a whole year to see season two of Carmen Sandiego on Netflix. Another thing I wasn't too happy about was the villain or the other agent called Paper Star. She gets points for creativity, that's for sure. She can make a ninja star out of any paper. That's I like that. That was pretty cool. But her attitude and the way she walked was like a little eight-year-old girl. La, 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 la. It just got on my nerves. It was more annoying than than a villain after somebody, you know what I mean? Anyway, all right, I've reached that part of the video where I give you my score of the cartoon. On a scale of one to 10, one being the worst, 10 being the best, I give Carmen Sandiego on Netflix a seven. It's not just an educational cartoon teaching you about geographical locations, but it also has a very good storyline. And since it's been out for a few months now, I have no problem telling you that there's a big twist ending. I'm not going to give it away, no spoilers, but there is a big twist ending. Carmen San Diego on Netflix is a very good series. And if you like my video here, I'd appreciate it if you give me a big thumbs up. Also, if you're a big fan of Carmen San Diego from the 80s, 90s, or the new series, comment below and let me know. No. Let me know what you think about Carmen San Diego on Netflix. Well, that's it for this video. I leave you with this. Remember, cartoons are not just for kids. A good cartoon with a good storyline will not only be entertaining for children, but also entertaining for adults as well. That's all for this week. Catch you next week with another brand new cartoon review. Bye-bye.